And good morning, folks. We're tracking the potential for slick roadways around eastern Iowa because of temperatures right here that will illustrate it pretty well. Near or below freezing is kind of a critical number this morning as rain and freezing rain and eventually perhaps some snow falls. When you factor in the light wind that we have, it feels more like the mid-20s as you step outside. So certainly a chilly start to the day as we look out and about. Precipitation generally stretches from just north of Dubuque toward Tama and areas to the southeast. It's falling as a mix of rain and freezing rain in many locations and that's why we've seen road conditions deteriorate. And that chance for precipitation continues through about midday, although some of it could last into the early afternoon in parts of our central and northern zones. Temperatures do slowly warm, likely getting above freezing by this afternoon, and so road conditions should tend to improve as we head toward then, too. Traffic alert for this morning focused on those road conditions where many areas of eastern Iowa reported as at least partially covered with some ice. We'll take a closer look at these in just a moment, and it's just a wider view of our DOT camera network showing the wet roads at the very least. But again, with those marginal temperatures and road temperatures that are pretty close to freezing too in a lot of cases, that's why we're worried about slick spots. And we've heard a lot of reports, especially on side streets, sidewalks, driveways, parking lots. Those lesser treated paved surfaces are especially icy this morning. So please add some extra time to your morning commute and just take it easy as you head out and about. We'll take a look at when that precipitation ends and the next round that's not far behind it coming up. The road conditions are deteriorating in some areas of eastern Iowa due to freezing rain. This is a look at Iowa Highway 150 north of Olwine. That roadway looks clear, but black ice is almost impossible to distinguish from a wet road. Precipitation can be seen on the plow's windshield. Thick fog is also a factor in some areas. This is a look at US 151 southeast of Anamosa, where visibility is much lower than normal. The Iowa DOT says there's currently 318 plows out on the roads. Extra caution is a necessity on the roads this morning. This is a live look at conditions at I-80 and Half Moon Road in the Tiffin area. You can see a glare on the road there, meaning it could be slick. To keep up with the latest on winter weather conditions, make sure to download the First Alert Weather app. It's available for free on, on, on Android and Apple devices. It's not just roads that are slick this morning, so are the sidewalks. KCRG TV9's Connor Woodruff is live in downtown Cedar Rapids this morning with what to expect when you step out the door. Connor? Yeah, so we're along 2nd Avenue here in Cedar Rapids and things are quite slick. You can see the shiny roads and sidewalks behind me where it's that mixture of rain and ice. So we've seen crews out all morning treating it with materials and things are still quite slick. It's definitely not as cold as we've seen in previous weeks, but it's still cold enough to where you're going to want to bundle up and slow down. I actually took a fall leaving my place this morning. Thankfully, I wasn't too hurt, but definitely something you want to be aware of. Watch your step and take it very slowly. And that goes double for those who are driving. Like Jackie said, it's almost impossible possible to tell the difference between black ice and water when you're driving when there's low visibility with fog and rain mixing up with your visibility. So just take it easy, watch your stops and take it easy, especially if you're walking this morning. Back to you guys. Connor, I know you mentioned it was slick on your way into work. Have you seen any changes now a few hours in? Yeah, you know, thankfully it's a, it's a little it's a little better now. Uh, like I said, we've seen workers uh, all morning long. May, uh, I believe they put a dent in it, especially uh, just uh, <laughs> less slick, definitely from when I uh, took my unfortunate fall earlier. Good, glad you're okay. Thanks, Connor.